Hey everyone, I am here because it's the beginning, well by the time we're seeing this, beginning of the new year, and it is time, means it's time to flip through the previous planner, and it's looking pretty thick. It is actually like mostly closing, which I'm pretty happy about, because I took out a lot of stuff like in the back, and like, you know, ripped out like the stickers and like the pocket in the back, because I'm not going to need that anymore, and that kind of thing, so... Yeah, I'm going to be uh, saving this, of course, for posterity, but first I wanted to flip through it with you all. So, yeah, we're going to do this in four parts because the, otherwise it will be, like, way too long. So we're going to start with the first three months and the kind of beginning matter in this one. Um, so this is the Erin Condren Vertical Neutral. It has this beautiful watercolor world map cover with my name on it. Same kind of... Or the, the, not the same, but the, the rest of the cover over there. So we've got our beautiful, beautiful cover here. And then you open it up. You have this. It's, of course, looking a little worse for wear because I have been, you know, using this planner for a year. But you get, um, there's like a little piece of vellum here. And then uh, the front page, I have these stickers, these custom stickers with your name in like rainbow from Duke Pluke that I put in the front of my planner every year. So I just have that there. And then you've got some kind of, quote pages. I kept the quote pages because they're, they're kind of nice to look at. Uh, and then you've got your 2017-2018 tab here. Um, although it's mostly 20, probably could just say 2018. And then first I have the year at a glance. This was beautiful. This is a beautiful kit for the, specifically for this page from Rose Colored Days that has, um, I got the gold foil and the watercolor. It's really beautiful. However, I never once used this page. I never looked at it once. So I didn't, you know, this was kind of you know, foil and is kind of, you know, ex expensive thing to be buying for a page that you're not using. So while it's really beautiful because I didn't use it, I won't be decorating that page in the future, but you know, it was cool to do, but yeah, it just, I, I never used it, never look at this page. So there you go. Uh, then we have this page here that was kind of just had these 12 boxes and I thought that a cool thing to do for that would be to mark the books that I've read this year because I really wanted to get back into pleasure reading this year. You know, I read so much as, um, well, I've submitted now, but since this pretty much this whole year I was a PhD student, I, you know, I read so much kind of academic stuff that I was like, I want to, you know, be reading some um, you know, not just fiction, I read lots of genres, but, you know, want to be reading some books just for the pure enjoyment and love of reading. So I really wanted to make that a priority this year. I think I succeeded. My goal was two books a month. That may have been a little bit, um, I think I probably could have done it if I sp like specifically chose books that I could read quickly, but I didn't do that. I just chose books that I really wanted to read. Some of which were really, really like long and, or, um, just kind of like took me a bit longer to read, uh, which is fine. So I think I did pretty well. How many did I end up doing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I did 19. I'm also at the, I haven't quite finished. I was going to write, um, how many I actually did down here. I haven't filled that in yet. Cause I'm, it's the, it's the December 31st right now. I'm at the end of the book I'm currently reading. If I finish it today, it'll get written in there. If not, then it'll get put in the January. I wrote when I finished the books, by the way, uh, put them in the month that I finished them. So yeah, that'll, if I don't finish it today, if I don't have time to finish reading it today, I will put it in January of next year's, but I really loved this. These heart stickers are from JD's Crafts. These are from a shop I can't remember. <laughs> Um, but they were just kind of like, I just liked the foil and the gold foil and watercolor tied into that page. So I did actually really use this page and I will use it the same way in next year's planner. But yeah, so I really liked how this turned out. And then some months I didn't finish any books like Kafka on the Shore took me like I pretty much like, I think I started it in January and then I was reading other books at the same time and then didn't finish it till March. So, and this is like a poetry book. So I read it in one day. So like these are both poetry books that I read in one day. So yeah, this book really took me the better part of these two months anyways. So that's kind of the books I read this year as you can, you can kind of peruse those in case you're interested. And then we have January notes page. This is a kit from Oodle Madoodles and it's really cute. It was mildly functional. It was fairly functional. I used my notes pages 
I would say fairly well this year. I definitely, you know, was referring to them, but I think there was like a bit too much that I was trying to put on there. And between like the monthly and the notes, there was like overlap and stuff. So I think I'm happy about the new streamlined notes page this in the next planner that's literally just lines. And I think I'll find like a cool way to use that this uh, coming year. But I did, you know, I did use it somewhat. So I was trying to, you know, kind of track different like big events or habits and um, or goals for the month. So this is from Oodle My Doodles. And then we have a January monthly kit from Harriet Wright Designs. I use my monthly in terms of like looking at the month at a glance. I never, re I really struggle using the sidebar here, but you know, I use this like pretty good, I would say. Uh, I didn't love this kit. I just got it in the advent calendar and I figured I might as well use it since I had it. Should I, by the way, I think, I think maybe I'll turn to like, yeah, is that better? Okay. I think that's a little bit better. So yeah, anyways, where were we? So yeah, January monthly, hair right designs, advent calendar. I don't hate it. I'm just like, it's just like a lot of pink for my taste, but I was like, you know what? I already have it, so I'm gonna use it. It was a busy month, as you will see. Um, and then the first week I used this kit from the Hummingbird Planner that I still really love. I was still in the no white space because, you know, no white space is was my comfort zone. So I wanted to kind of like gain my confidence. And yeah, this is like, oh, I was posting my flip throughs from last year. This is like very busy. I think still when I look through my old planners and then even the beginning of this planner I just am like a bit overwhelmed by like how much stuff I was putting in. I think I've simplified a bit. Although I still put a lot of stuff in, but I think I have definitely simplified a bit and I think white space has helped a lot with that. But let's see, what did we do this week? So we went to the QPR game, New Year's Day game. We, oh yeah, we were watching that show, The Miniaturist. That was all right. It was meh. And looks like kind of a, a chill day, chill day, chill week that I was having. And then, oh, went to QPR twice this week. That's funny. And then, oh yeah, and then I think my partner was busy on, on Saturday night, so I remember watching Now You See Me Too, because I remember really liking the first one and being like, people, like, it's cheesy and whatever, but like, I, I liked all the magic tricks and like the twists and stuff, so I remember um, seeing that that was, the sequel was on Netflix and watching that, and also enjoying it. And then, oh yeah, and then we went to our friend Zach's house, who, this is funny, but like, I don't, he's my partner's friend and I don't know him that well, and that's actually not how you spell his name, which I now know, which is pretty funny. It's with a K. <laughs> but yeah, so we went to Zach's house. I remember that. That was really fun. Oh, and I remember um, I had procured my first TN, so I remember um, buying everything else that I needed to set it up which is pretty cool. So yeah, then I, the second week, used this beautiful kit from Caress Press, which had the really cool Little Red Riding Hood art that I loved, and looks like I color blocked, and I remember I didn't like the washi so much, so I, this was my first time using Simply Gilded Washi. This was my first ever roll of 50 millimeter bows, and it's the burgundy with rose gold, and for some reason I mixed metals here and I used gold. I think as I didn't have any like rose gold, so I used these gold arrows, and I don't mind. I actually like, I remember like being like, eh, I don't really like it, but in hindsight it's fine. I don't mind it. Um, and then I used like a little bit of more washi here and then like one foil sticker here. So I was like dipping my toe in the foil pool. I didn't have like any foil stickers except like two sheets from like old sheets from Harry Wright Designs at that point, which is where this is from. But let's see, what did we do this week? So looks like it was a pretty typical week of working, going to the library. I had a meeting with my supervisor and I wrote tech free time because that was like a New Year's resolution. It's like my partner and I like, making time to like do stuff that didn't involve like what that wasn't like watching something on Netflix or like on our phones or whatever that was like pretty short-lived because <laughs> we're just like very busy and at the end of the day sometimes we're like I can't be bothered to like you know we just want to watch a tv show and like there's nothing wrong with that like we really love watching movies and tv shows and like talking about them together and that's like a shared interest that we have so i don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with that so you know it was something we tried and whatever it wasn't really for us necessarily so uh yeah i got a haircut we had a date night at oaxaca apparently i love oaxaca oh yeah i remember this and then we went to see molly's game with um jessica chastain and idris elba it was a pretty good movie and then I just put that date night sticker and I didn't write what the date night was. So I guess it was just a miscellaneous 
hanging out time. But yeah, I love this kit. If they like brought back, like reformatted this kit, I would, I would get it again. I really loved this art. And then this week I used another Hummingbird Planner kit, but this time I used a mini kit and I dipped my toe into white space. I remember I was trying to somewhat scatter the full boxes and the way that I did it with hiding the lines was to put glitter headers at the bottom as well, which I don't actually hate. It actually like looks all right, I think. And I only scattered them like up and down here and then put checklists on the top for some reason. That's weird. If I did this again, I would put the checklist on the bottom, but yeah. And then I would do them like this, but yeah, it was a, it was a good try. And I actually like this, this look, I think it looks a bit, even though there's still a lot going on, I think it looks a bit cleaner. So what did we do this week? I, oh yeah, I, I had my first, I think that was my first class. Yeah. That was my first lecture. And then, uh, so yeah, I was, I was teaching this semester. So that was my first one. And then I, oh yeah, I spoke on a panel at UCL. And then, what was that? Oh yes, I was supposed to be teaching, did I do it next week? Hmm. I was supposed to be teaching a class, I think I was supposed to, yeah, I was supposed to be teaching a, a master's lecture, and but it got like my week that I was teaching got moved or something, so I, yeah, I taught a different, but I did teach that lecture, I just did it a different week. <laughs> And yeah, it was just like prepping and working. Oh, my partner worked from home this day. I remember that. It's fun. And then, yeah, just like a pretty typical week. I made M&M cookies, my favorite. And then, oh yeah, and then we had a game night at our house. That was really fun. And then we made cheese. Yes, that was the first time we made cheese. So I got my partner for Christmas a... Uh, kits that for making your own halloumi and feta and we made our first batch of halloumi that day and it was really good if I do say so myself so yeah this was a really cool kit I love the, like the deep purples and stuff in this kit it's really cool and by the way I happen to notice that this kit is still in the shop so if you like it you can go to hummingbird planner and you can still get this kit so this next week I used a kit from shop jessica hearts I think this is my first time using a kit from from them and I love this one it's like a fairy tale photo kit I wish there was like maybe more green instead of this pink, but I did really like this kit. I color blocked again. I really like color blocking, so whatever. And yeah, it's beautiful. What did we do this week? So yeah, it looks like pretty typical week. Oh, we went to see three billboards because I remember we had like um, movie vouchers for like some free movies. So we went to the movies a few times in the upcoming weeks. And yeah, it looks like a pretty basic week here. Oh, it was the PBC sale, and then I must have watched, yeah, because I was marking with the um, Coffee Monsters Co. the books, I was marking when I finished the book, so I finished Order of the Phoenix this week, and then um, with these strips I marked when I watched the movie, so I must have watched the movie that day, and then we went to Hampstead Heath, yeah, pretty like kind of chill basic week, but a lovely spread. And then we have our February notes. Again, this was from the advent calendar. I had already purchased the January notes kit, so I used this one in February instead because it was like, you know, didn't say didn't say anything specific for January. So yeah, I used this um, Harriet Wright Designs uh, notes kit. Again, it was like a bit, like I didn't love the format of this one actually. So um, yeah, it was like a bit difficult to use it functionally, but you know, did my best with it. And then we have our February monthly kit. I remember struggling to find a February monthly. Um, so this was not necessarily my favorite. Again, very pink, but it was kind of like, what else am I going to do? It's from Katie Elizabeth Plans. And yeah, it's, uh, I used, I pulled in this, uh, it was when the kits didn't come with any boxes to mark off the days not in the month. So I pulled in this gold glitter tape <laughs> and then like stuck all the giant deco to it. So eh, it's not my favorite monthly spread, but whatever. Uh, and then this week I went for white space again, but now I'm, I'm kind of, um, getting closer to the, the kind of white space look that I do now, except for some reason my to-do lists were still on the top. I don't know why I was doing that. I'm sure I filmed a plan with me on this. So I'm sure I said, but yeah, I don't know. So yeah, this is from Hummingbird Planner as well. A mini kit. I, yeah, as you can see, I just did the three glitter header system, but I, um, and then the full boxes across the middle which is the easiest way to do white space in this type of planner is to just um because then it hides all the dots basically so that's the easiest way to do it 
I wish I could do the scattered full boxes, but honestly, it's just like with like whining out the dots and I don't know, it just seems like such a pain. This is the easiest way to do it. But yeah, I, I, I now switch these and I like that much better. I like today on the top and to do on the bottom, but yeah. I, I liked, I actually bought this kit by accident. I thought I was buying another kit and I don't know how I got confused, but I bought, I remember I bought this kit by accident and I was like, eh, I don't hate it like enough to sell it. But again, it is a lot of pink for me. I don't really like pink, but so much planner, like so many planner people apparently do love pink. So, you know, I end up with a lot of pink in my planner because I'll like most of a kit or I'll like the art and I'll just have to deal with the pink basically. Anyways. So yeah, I used this, I used, I pulled in um, a sidebar sticker from Hummingbird Planner and their old sidebar stickers, I still have them, but they're like hard to use because of this reason, their old sidebar stickers were wider than the boxes, so, which I guess makes sense because the sidebar like has more space, but it doesn't make sense because if you're stacking it with stuff from a kit, then it doesn't line up, so hence why this doesn't line up and it looks kind of weird to be honest, but yeah, what did we do this week? So... Yeah, I don't like how I did that. I just, I was expecting two Happy Meals and I only got one, so I just crossed out the other one. Don't really love that, but yeah, I had office hours. I uh, pretty typical, yeah, it looks like, the, like a pretty normal week. I used one foil sticker, one shattered glass foiled sticker from Rose Colored Days, uh, Rose Colored Days Freebie. <laughs> and then I, oh, here's where I did the master's lecture. So the master class lecture was rescheduled for this week. And then, yeah, looks like a pretty basic week. I was in by myself. I played Civilization had a, and had a um, solo night in on this day. I don't remember why, but yeah, it seems like a pretty chill weekend. Oh yeah, and then we went to the pub with my sister-in-law, her husband, and my nephew on this day. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, chill, pretty basic, basic week. And then this week I used, this was, I'm pretty sure, a mystery kit, yes. I think maybe like September of 2017, I want to say, mystery kit from GP Sticker Studio. That, again, because of the pink, I wasn't going to use, but I decided, and I didn't like a lot of the full boxes, but I decided that if I used like more of the decorative headers instead of the full boxes, and I didn't use the floral washi, which I didn't like, that I could like make a kit that I liked enough. And I think I did a pretty good job, I would say. So yeah, I like I yeah, I used like some archive stationary washi with deco pieces here that was like much smaller and like yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. So this week I had um I was lecturing and had my office hours and then on this day we went to see Hamilton, which was so amazing. Oh, it was just the best. Loved it. And then looks like maybe I wasn't feeling good this week because I had the gym here, British Library here, and gym here, all of which have canceled and rescheduled stickers on, so I wonder if maybe I wasn't feeling good after him. I don't remember, but yeah, I'm, maybe I was, I was feeling a bit sick because I... Yeah, I did cancel all of those things. I, again, like one lone Rose Colored Days foiled sticker <laughs> um, here, and then... Yeah, I didn't do a lot of my intended schoolwork as well. So maybe I was, yeah, maybe I did get sick or something. Uh, that that would be in my memory planner. Uh, but yeah, so I was doing as much, looks like I was doing as much um, lecture prep as I could. And then back on the weekend, I must have been feeling better because I went to the gym and we, um, I think we got a takeaway curry and watched a movie. And then looks like I did literally nothing on Sunday. I mean, I like did to do's, but nothing in the today section, which is kind of hilarious. So <laughs> I don't know if I would do that today. Like if I would ha just leave a today section completely blank, I would put at least like did nothing today in there. That's kind of funny. And then we have Valentine's week, which I use kind of not a traditional Valentine's kit again, because like I didn't like the, how like a lot of Valentine's kits are like bright pink. And this is like, it's not really pink. It's more purple tones, it's like purples and blues. And this was, uh, actually just like a winter photo kit from Harry Wright designs, but I saved it and I, well, it's still winter in February, but I saved it and used it for this week instead because I, I felt like with, you know, like the fairy lights and the rose and like the cute kitten and the heart hands that it was appropriate for Valentine's Day. So yeah, what did we do this week? I, um, oh yes, I was, uh, I had a lecture and then I was speaking at a symposium and then, um, 
we went out for dinner afterwards, the, the speakers. And then I had my office hours. I moved them to this day because I was speaking that day. And then, oh yeah, uh, we went to see the Brothers Size at the Young Vic, I think, theater, uh, which was absolutely incredible. And then, oh yeah, as you can see the, the start of these, um, or not the start, because I think, I think I probably missed a few of them, but um, using these stickers from Hummingbird Planner to mark wedding tasks. <laughs> and then the Valentine's Day stickers from Caress Press. And then again, another like loan. <laughs> you can see like I'm using like one a week from this foil sampler from Rose Color Days because I was like, yeah, not fully into the foil yet, but it's pretty funny. And then, oh yeah, and then I was meeting with my friend who we were doing like, um, we ended up doing like a, a workshop thingy together. So this was like our first planning session. And then I had a haircut and I think I hung out with Rowan this day. That's probably what that family time sticker means, but I'm not 100% sure. And then, uh, oh yeah, and then we went to Cambridge this day. We just had like a little day trip to Cambridge. That was really fun. I enjoyed that. And then, oh yeah, and then we got brunch um, together on this day. So, and then it was like a chill day apparently. So yeah, that was a fun week. I remember that week. And then I used, uh, for this week, I used, this is also could have been used for Valentine's Day, but I used this kit from Hummingbird Planner. Again, it's like, it was one that I was like, I was running really low on kits. So I just like ordered a bunch of kits from shops that I like, even if I wasn't that wild about the art or the colors. Um, so this one was okay. I liked the burgundy and stuff, but it wasn't like my favorite kit ever. So here I have finally switched to the today and to do section in my white space look. And what did we do this week? Yeah, I'm still lecturing, having office hours. Oh, I got my, my that was uh, Paper Muse Crafts order was my wedding kit. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I was meeting my friend. Like a hair there. Meeting my friend Amanda and was, oh, my partner was working from home. Pretty typical, typical stuff. Seven months to the wedding. Yeah, great Canadian planner sale. Will cooking cooked us breakfast apparently. <laughs> if I put if if I put in half boxes my partner cooking breakfast and match of the day, that's how you know that it was a nothing day because those are things I normally wouldn't mark at all because they happen most weekends. So the fact that I put those in there, that's pretty funny. Um, means nothing happened. And then we went to see Black Panther with our friend on Sunday. I remember that. And yeah, that's it for this week. And then we have our March, March notes kit, which is also from Oodle My Doodles. And yeah, this is, a, again, like I used it, but it wasn't like, I didn't need it. Like I use it, but I could have had this stuff elsewhere and it wasn't necessarily like, I was mostly using it be because I had the page here. So, you know, and I, but I like the decoration of it. I liked the, like this kind of hedgehog theme was fun. So, you know. It worked. Uh, and then we have our March monthly kit. Again, I remember this was another month I was really struggling to find one that I liked. I think this one is from Isabel the Owl. And it's just, it's not my favorite like format really. Um, I didn't find the format to be super functional, but uh, that's that anyway. And then, oh, I loved this kit so much. And I was so disappointed that it was like, I thought it was going to get ruined, but it didn't end up like being too bad. So this is a, a from Shop Jessica Hearts. It's one of their girl on the go kits, quote unquote. Um, you know, whatever. We're not all girls, but uh, it is like these are all single strips of stickers. So you lay down like these bottom washies, and then like this is one strip, one strip, one strip, and it's so easy, and I love it. And yeah. I just, because they're an American shop, I don't get to order from them as much, but I love this format. And the next time I can order from, place a, a big order from, you know, stuff from the US, if they have any more of these, I would get it again. I absolutely loved it. So I was color blocking again. And yeah, basically this is the week we were supposed to go to Ireland, but we got snowed out. I know this kit isn't looking very snowy, but I picked it because it was kind of like rustic and I don't know, it just gave me like vague Ireland vibes. And basically this whole page had to be completely undone. And I was like, I was just, I was so bummed out. But it worked out at great in the end because the spread still looks great. So yeah, let's see. So I was lecturing and off having office hours. Oh, this day was so fun. I was filming, my friend is kind of doing this ongoing documentary project, basically, where um, about like, 
uh, queer people and makeup and presentation and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, so they interviewed me and they've, um, and I did like a makeup look and stuff and that was so much fun. So yeah, so I was filming, uh, that day and it was in a really cool venue. It's the Wilton Music Hall, if you know it in London is like, and it's super cool. So yeah, that was amazing. And then, yeah, this uh, was the day we were supposed to fly to Dublin, so I have that flight tracker in there with a change of plan sticker over it. So, yeah, I had put in this, I believe put in this already, but hadn't filled it out. Um, because, oh, no, I had filled it out because that's, a, okay, so this said dinner at, and I must have put where we were going to have dinner in Ireland, but I've cut a strip of washi, they must have had a leftover strip of washi, like a tiny thing, and written um, Jay's, which is like the Indian place near where we used to live, instead. So, yeah, basically, um, it was just, we got to the airport, we were like packed, ready to go, we were like, we knew it was kind of snowing, but we were like, if they're still doing trains to the airport, so let's just go because if you like don't show up then that's a different thing so it's like yeah so we're gonna go so we showed up we get there um and it's only delayed so we're like okay it was a little delayed and then they kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and then eventually they were like it's completely canceled because Dublin airport where we were flying into was completely closed for the whole day we're, they're like we can't get you out there till the earliest would be Friday and that's not even guaranteed and the thing we were supposed to we were supposed to like we had all these plans for the whole week and then we were going to something like Friday Saturday Sunday so we would have been late for it and it was like you know, and we didn't know that if the snow was going to get better, it ended, up, it ended up not getting better. And like, it would have been such a difficult thing. So we were like, we're just cutting our losses now. We're canceling everything we can cancel, getting as much of our money back as we can. So we got a refund for the flights. Uh, we didn't have to pay for the accommodation. You know, they were very understanding. So, you know, it was all good. Uh, but basically, I had to get my undo out. I had to throw out a bunch of boxes I'd already written in and, you know, pull in other stuff and we ended up having a staycation instead because my partner had already taken the days off from work. So we're like, you know, basically I think almost a week off from work. So we're like, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep those days off and like have fun in London, like do whatever we can do. So yeah. So, um, on Thursday we went to, uh, the welcome collection. We had tapas and we went to the Tate Modern. So we had like a museum day. That was really fun. And then, oh, I bought my, I bought the SPC Pride kit that day. I remember being very excited about that. And, uh, yeah, and, like, I had put in, like, packing because we were, you know, going from one hotel to, like, another, or, like, Dublin to another town this day and then, like, packing to go home and, you know, obviously none of that happened. So I just x those out instead of undoing and because I'd already written pack. Anyways, so then Friday we hung out with my nephew and my in-laws, and then on Saturday we used another one of our m free movie vouchers to go see Lady Bird. I remember that. It was really, uh, it was fun. And then on, uh, Sunday we just had some kind of miscellaneous date night again a, a single foil sticker oh and like a, I used foiled wash as flag so you know a little bit of foil and then we uh apparently booked our honeymoon so yeah so we made the most uh of a week that you know kind of wasn't uh did you know started well not started off but you know didn't go according to plan and we made the most of it so it ended up being really fun anyway and I remember that week fondly and then we have this mini kit from hummingbird planner for this week again doing the white space look and again my partner is still I think was off until this day so um we went to Bletchley Park this day so we took the trains out went there that was super cool and then I think we used another one of our movie vouchers to see I, Tanya, and then I had another meeting with uh, my friend because the workshop was this week, so we were kind of uh, planning that. And then I think, yeah, pretty typical Wednesday, and then we um, had a quick meeting before we left, so we um, just kind of went over, over everything one last time, and then we took the train to Salis Salisbury, I think Salisbury, and uh, which is not even the place where the workshop was. It was so middle of nowhere. You had to like take the train there and then like get a cab for like an hour. So yeah, anyways, so we got the train to, down to um, Wiltshire. I think it was Wiltshire where we were doing the workshop. And then we did the um, like day of workshops on Thursday at the, the school that we were doing it. And then we got the train home and then I had my office hours, which rescheduled for this day here, and I met with my uh, co-teacher apparently, and then had some family time on Saturday, 
Jessica Jones must have come out <laughs> again, the lone foil sticker <laughs> there. Uh, and oh, apparently I was sick on Sunday, so probably didn't get up to much, but that's, uh, that week. And then I'm oh, okay. I was like, wait, I didn't go over. No. Okay. I'm almost done, but not quite yet. And then I use this, uh, GP sticker studio kit. I think this was the Black Friday kit. I don't know if it was mystery, if it was just Black Friday exclusive uh, this week. And yeah, let's see what it was St. Patrick's Day. Again, the lone foil sticker of this week was using my, I think my first Rose Color Days holiday sticker. So yeah, let's see. I was, I was lecturing again. I had a doctor's appointment this day. Oh, I made blueberry, sorry, my dog is barking. I made blueberry muffins and I was thinking the other day about how I haven't made blueberry muffins in a long time and I should make some because I love blueberry muffins. Anyways, so that's a good reminder. <laughs> and then, yeah, just typical week, haircuts. Yeah, pretty basic yoga, chill. It looks like a pretty, very chill weekend. Started my birthday countdown. And yeah, so that's uh, that. And then the next week in March, I use this kit, which I really like. This is not a mini kit because they don't do mini kits, but it's this was my first time buying only some of the sheets a la carte from JP Sticker Studio to kind of make my own mini kit. So that's what I did here. I didn't get the wash. I don't get the washi sheet when I do that. So I pulled in some archive stationery marble washi and then continued my um, birthday countdown. And th these are from uh, Help Tea Paper, by the way. And then what did we do this week? So I was had my office hours, but apparently not lecturing. And meeting with my supervisor. Oh, peanut butter chip brownies. Oh, I remember that. Someone had given me peanut butter chips. So I made peanut butter chip brownies, of course. What else are you going to do? <laughs> Pretty typical. Oh, yeah. Um, This uh, play called... This, uh, this is a play. That's what Pighead is. Uh, that my friend was in. That was quite good. I remember that. And then six months till the wedding, just doing some schoolwork. I don't know why I didn't do, what was I supposed to be? Yeah, I don't know, just, I don't know what was going on this week. Maybe I wasn't feeling 100%, but, but I canceled a fair few things. Oh, we sent our save the dates, I remember that. And then, oh, two foiled stickers this week. Uh-oh, look at that. <laughs> Apparently just had a chill day, a whole chill weekend, really. It doesn't look like we did that much. Oh, we sprang ahead this day. And then, oh, okay, the next one is, uh, the next week is actually like under the April tab, so I'm going to save it for the next flip through. So I really hope you enjoy this first uh, quarter of the year going through it with me. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you did, and please, please, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.